What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Spanko and today I'm excited because not only am I showing you guys one of my favorite decks of all time, but I'm actually going to be showing you guys all the combos that you need to know to be able to play this deck at a competitive level, try to take it to event and try to win at that event with this deck. So if you guys do enjoy these videos, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more Yu-Gi-Oh content. I will say if you guys haven't seen the deck profile just yet, I'll link the deck profile at the top of the description below. I already did that. I did an explanation for the deck. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you guys should be playing the deck and every combo that you need to know if you want to play Adventure ABC. So thank you guys all for watching. And with that, on to the combos. Okay, so for the first combo over here, and there's actually two ways to do this exact same combo, and I'll explain both of them to you, but this is just a one card combo with just Union Hanger, all right? So keep that in mind. So you're gonna add a Union Monster, you're gonna add the B here. So this is just one card, Union Hanger. You could also open technically Terraforming because Terraforming also gets you to Union Hanger. And then you're gonna normal summon your B here. So this is a very simplistic combo. If you guys have ever played ABC, you guys should probably know this combo. So here you're gonna equip the Union Driver. The Union Driver, what it lets you do is it lets you equip another piece. And the best part about equipping another piece is the fact that you can essentially summon that piece. Because if you guys don't know what the Union Hanger, you can't summon the piece that you equip, right? So here you could do a couple things and this is kind of where the combo changes so what you're gonna do here is let's say you equip the a right you can summon the a and then once you summon the a you can go into either a platinum gadget here or you can go straight into verite anaconda now it kind of depends on what you want to prioritize if you go into platinum gadget you can end on abc buster dragon if you go on verite you don't end on buster however you do end on dpe and you end on an extra card in hand. So it really depends on where you want to go. Of course, we all know that if you wanted to go Verte, you just go Link 2, Verte, B is going to search your C, and then you're going to make DPE. So I'm going to show you guys a Platinum Gadget combo instead here. So you're going to go Platinum Gadget, and then you're going to activate the effects of B. Honestly, you could even at this point activate the effect of A, but again, you're not going to want to because you want to be able to make ABC in this case. If you did make Verte, I would also activate A here as well because it would chain block the B, which is really nice. So it makes it less susceptible to hand traps. But on top of that, it gets you an extra card in hand to play for next turn, right? So here we're going to activate the Platinum Gadget to summon our C, and that's all you got to do. Now you got ABC Buster Dragon with the C, the A, and the B. So now you got Buster, all right? Now, like I said, if you wanted to, you can make Verte here, and then instead of ABC, you end on DPE. Now, it kind of depends on what the rest of your hand is looking like again this is just a one card combo but the reason sometimes you would choose to go to dpe instead of abc just because dpe first of all doesn't require anything in hand for its pop effect of course and then buster of course does require something in hand but you're going to have that c in your hand that you searched with b so on your next turn all you have to do is summon that c you're going to get another equip with the union hanger and then uh, you can just go from there and make a buster and try to otk from there or, to be honest, if you make this board, you could also banish a card your opponent controls, use ABC Buster effects on your opponent's turn to summon back your pieces, and then get advantage that way. So two different ways to do the combo. I hope I explained the DPE combo a little bit because I'm not going to be showing it off, but it's kind of like you can choose one of two different routes with this one card combo. So here now is a two card combo where you still open the Union Hanger, but you also open a piece. Now this can be any piece. It could be A, it could be B, or it could be C. It does not matter. As long as you open any single ABC piece, you can do this combo, okay? So here what you're going to do is you are going to use your Union Hanger, as always. You're going to search your B. B is the most important one. It's the one that gets you cards in your hand, which is very important, of course. Then you're going to want to normal summon your B. Now, for anyone watching this video and is like, hey, when are you going to show us the adventure, the brave combos? I'm going to show you guys that up next. I just want to do one card at a time and one combo at a time. So we're doing one one card Union Hanger, now two cards with Union Hanger. Then I'm going to be showing you guys like Union Hanger plus the brave engine, the adventure engine, same thing. So I'm going to be showing you guys all that. Don't worry, stay tuned. So here we're going to activate our Union Hanger as always, and we're going to equip our union driver okay we're going to activate the union driver effect here and then we're going to summon any piece now because we already have a in our hand we're just going to equip the c and even if you had like another c or another b in your hand you still want to equip the c no matter what because you need the c to special summon that effect is very very important in this combo okay so we're going to equip the c here we're going to activate the c and we are going to make a link two now here we actually don't want to make platinum gadget because now we already have a way to make abc buster without having to use a special summon so you don't need to go platinum gadget you could go ip mascarena because ip mascarena plus abc is a very very powerful strong combo but here i'm going to show you guys the dpe engine or the dpe plays i guess you could say so we're going to go into verte anaconda we're going to activate the effects of both c and b now this is important okay i already have an a in hand 
So it's okay to use B as chain link one and C as chain link two. However, if you don't have an A in hand, let's say, because the piece we're missing here is A. If you don't have an A in hand, let's say you have another B in hand, what you wanna do is you wanna go chain link one C, chain link two B, because then at least this way B can search you the A and then you can summon the A, right? So in this case, we already have the A, so we're gonna go chain link one B, and then chain link 2C. And this way we're also gonna be chain blocking RB, which is very powerful. But again, it very it really depends on what you have in hand or which piece you have in hand, and you have to like play accordingly to that, okay? So here we're gonna summon our A. We're also gonna get to search with B. Let's just search another B because B is really strong and our next turn we can summon this. Then first thing you wanna do here is make your buster. And buster is very important to make first because once you use the verte, you won't be able to special summon anything else. So we're gonna make buster and then we're just gonna activate our verte. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna send our fusion destiny. We're gonna send our dasher as well as our celestial to make dpe so it's very standard combo here the nice thing about this combo here is it also sets up your graveyard it sets up your celestial and your dasher here we're ending on both an abc buster dragon with the banish and a dpe to pop which is very very powerful like i said you could also just go into ip mascarena and then ip mascarena is very powerful because you can use the buster tag out summon the three pieces use ip as well as one of your opponent's monsters with your pieces to make underworld goddess now i've shown that combo many 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 times on this channel to be honest with you it's one of my favorite combos to go into with abc so if you guys haven't checked that out you guys can check out any of my other abc combos but again i feel like i explained it well enough you all you have to do is you make ip instead of verte you don't end on the dpe but you still have another form of disruption so either way you're ending on two disruptions here Okay, so finally, just like I promised, I'm gonna be showing you guys a combo that uses the adventure, and I'm gonna show you guys how strong this combo is and the synergy is between the adventure slash brave engine as well as the ABC engine. Now, keep in mind, I do wanna say this just before I go into this combo specifically, you could also open the water enchantress here, which essentially is the same thing because water enchantress gets you into your right of Artemisia. And you guys might also be saying, wait, Spanko, you have to open hanger with every single one of these combos. Like you won't always have hanger in your hand true now that's where a lot of differentiation comes with this deck and what you can do actually and i'm only showing you guys two card combos but technically you're starting with five cards in your hand so if you open a piece let's say and an unauthorized reactivation unauthorized reactivation essentially acts as a union hanger however the only problem with it is you have to open a piece so that becomes more like three card combos but again still very doable the exact same combos i'm showing you guys with hanger imagine hanger can also be like b plus unauthorized reactivation or A plus unauthorized reactivation, you can do the exact same combo. So that's why it's very important to keep in mind that Hanger, yes, is very powerful, but of course you're not always gonna get to Hanger in every single hand. However, Hanger can essentially be replaced by a piece and an unauthorized reactivation. So just keep that in mind, that just becomes three card combos. I don't wanna show you guys three card combos, but it's the exact same combo really. All you have to do instead is summon the piece, activate your unauthorized reactivation, equip Union Driver, and then you have the same combo, right? So I just wanted to say that, preface that just before we continue on with the video, just because some people might be like, what if we don't open Hanger? Uh, it's, it's the same thing, it doesn't matter. If you don't open Hanger, you don't open unauthorized reactivation plus a piece, you're fine. Okay, so here, finally, let's get into this combo. So of course we have the right of Artemisia. We also have the Union Hanger, which is very powerful. So let's start off by activating our right of Artemisia. We're gonna summon a token. Now that we have a token, we can place a Fateful Adventure from our deck to the side of the field. Fateful Adventure requires you to discard a card. And of course, because this is just a two card combo, of course, this becomes a lot easier when you actually have five cards in your hand. So you can discard any other card and you can actually activate it right now to get your Griffin out right now. But just because we're playing with two cards here, I'm gonna show you guys the combo a little bit differently. But again, with a full hand, this becomes even better to be honest with you. So here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually activate the hanger right now. We're gonna add a Union Monster to our hand and that is going to be your B, okay? Now we're gonna summon the B here and what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the standard Union Hanger stuff. Now here is where we have a little bit more options because a monster is normal summoned. If you guys don't know, Journey of Destiny has the effect where if a monster is normal or special summoned, you can take an equip spell that mentions adventure token from your deck, either add it to your hand or equip it to the card. Now here what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna activate our Union Hanger Okay, but we're also gonna activate our Journey of Destiny. Now this is very powerful because what ends up happening is now we can search the Draco back to our hand. So now before we even continue with the rest of the combos, we're gonna have access to Griffin. So what we're gonna do here is we're just gonna equip the Union Driver to the B, but before we keep going, before we keep going, we're gonna activate our Journey of Destiny. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a Griffin to our hand and we have to pitch a card. And because now we only have the two cards in our hand, we're just gonna pitch the Draco back. 
Again, you can do it completely differently where before you even activate your hanger, you can search the Griffin. The only reason you don't do it in this combo is because this is a two card combo. But again, if you have any other card in your hand, which you will because you start your hands with five cards, you pretty much get the Griffin before you do any of this, right? So I just wanted to preface that. So here we're going to actually activate our Draco back. We're going to equip it to the token and that's really nice because this card pretty much recycles itself and we don't really lose advantage with this card. So here you guys might be thinking like, why is it asking me to activate Griffin? Well, Griffin's actually just a quick effect to summon itself. So I was just going to show you guys that you guys can summon it without it actually being activated in hand. But regardless, you can special summon the Griffin. So now you have a Griffin for any other forms of disruption. So now all of your combos are guaranteed to go through from here on out because now you have a Griffin for any potential hand trap, any potential disruption, you have the Griffin to negate it. So here we're just going to do your standard things that you're going to do with ABC, which is you're going to equip your A here. You're going to activate the A. Keep in mind that because we activated the journey of destiny to pitch the Draco back, that was only to get Griffin on the field earlier. However, what you could do is you could actually link the B and the A, and then you're going to search the C, and then you can actually activate the journey of destiny afterwards to pitch the C from your hand. However, we're not doing it that way because I wanted to show you guys a way where essentially you can guarantee your combos from here on out. So yeah, so here we're just going to go into the standard stuff. We're going to go into platinum gadget, and then we're going to activate the effect of our B to search our C. We're going to special summon the C, and then we have ABC buster as well as our Griffin, which is really, really powerful, of course, because Griffin adds another form of protection. So yeah, so this combo is pretty like simple, to be honest with you. I know I kind of went in depth with how the combo works. The weird thing about the Brave Engine or the Adventure Engine, I would say, is because like, it's it's hard to do it with like two card combos because again, like you have to have more cards in your hand to pitch to discard. So here we're ending off on a board of Griffin, which is a disruption. We have an ABC Buster, which is a disruption. So you have two disruptions here. You're also guaranteed for your combos to go off just because of your Griffin, but also potentially if you already had a piece in your hand, you could actually skip the whole Platinum Gadget step, go into Verte Anaconda, make DPE here as well. So like, you see what I'm saying? Like there's a lot of different ways and a lot of different opportunity to actually like make even bigger boards than this. This is just the most simplistic of boards with two cards in hand. Actually, what I'll do is I'll show you guys a three card combo where we open that third card and I'll show you how far this deck can go. So now for this two card combo, you guys might be like, okay, wait, I opened Union Hanger and I opened my Fusion Destiny. Opening Fusion Destiny is very, very powerful because what it does is essentially now you don't have to go into your Verite play, which is very, very strong. So what you're going to do here is the standard ABC stuff that I've been showing you. You do the one card combo that I showed you with Union Hanger. So we're just going to skip by this real quick. We're going to do this combo as we've done every other single combo with Union Hanger here. And then once we get to the end part, I'll show you exactly what you guys need to do. But I don't want to sit here and make the video unnecessarily long and bore you guys with the combo over and over and over again. So we're just going to skip to the part where we use our Fusion Destiny. A few moments later. Okay, so remember that one card Union Hanger combo where we ended on ABC and Platinum Gadget? Well, now you do the exact same thing. All you got to do is you activate your Fusion Destiny now and you're going to end on DPE no matter what. So now you still get two disruptions even though you had to make the Platinum Gadget, which is very, very strong still. Now, the best part about this also is that with the DPE, you can pop itself, of course, but you can also pop this extra Platinum Gadget that you won't really be using. Or if you honestly just keep the Platinum Gadget on top of that, what you can do is you can just use it on your next turn to special summon an extra card. Doesn't matter what you want to do, but regardless, you're ending on two disruptions here just because you opened the Fusion Destiny, which is also very, very powerful. So here is an example of one of the strongest hands you guys can open. And again, you're opening five cards, not three, but I'm just going to show you guys with three cards here. Here's an example of one of the strongest hands you can open. Now, keep in mind, the Water Enchantress can just be the Rite of Artemisia itself, but it works with either way. That's why this deck is so consistent, because, for example, like I said, Union Hanger could be an Apiece and an Authorized Reactivation. The Water Enchantress could be Water Enchantress, or it could be Rite of Artemisia. There's so many different hands that you can do the exact same combos, which is just so, so powerful. So here, what we're going to do, of course, we're going to use the Water Enchantress to search our Rite of Artemisia, just an extra step. If you open right, you're perfectly fine. So here, we're not even going to look at the ABC stuff first. We're going to start things off with our adventure engine so we're going to activate the right we're going to summon the token and once we summon the token we're going to activate the right to put an adventure or journey of destiny i should say not faithful adventure journey of destiny so here what we're going to do is we're going to actually activate the journey of destiny here to search a griffin and we're going to pitch our a Okay. Now this could be any piece. So if you opened a C, it would work. If you opened a B, it would work. It doesn't matter. It could be any piece. As long as you open up a single piece, you can do this exact same combo. So here, what we're going to do is we're going to actually activate our Griffin. So now, as soon as we activate our Union Hanger, if my opponent has Ash, if my opponent has any other hand trap, 
I have Griffin to negate it. So here we're going to, of course, use our Journey of Destiny here to search our Draco back. And this is going to be very important because Draco back in our hand is going to be used for our actual ABC Buster Dragon next turn, which is very powerful because it gives you a free card to discard. So now you just do ABC combos. And the best part about this is you already have a piece in the graveyard. So because you already have a piece in the graveyard, you guys are going to see how far we can take this combo here. So what we're going to do here is we're going to search our B, of course. We're going to normal summon our B. We're going to do the standard Union Hanger stuff. We're going to equip a Union Driver from our deck here. We're going to use Union Driver here. Once we use Union Driver, the missing piece is C, right? So we're going to equip our C. So then what we're going to do is we're going to activate our C to special summon it. Once you activate your C, instead of making Platinum Gadget, because you already have... Uh, three pieces in your graveyard at this point, right? And because you already have three pieces in your graveyard, you can actually make Verte Anaconda or you can make IP Mascarena. But here we're just gonna go the simplest route and we're just gonna go Verte Anaconda with these two. We're gonna activate our B, of course, to get us an extra card in hand, which is gonna be very powerful because now we're gonna use that extra card on our next turn for our Union Hanger. So it gives you a lot of follow up, which is really powerful, of course. Then we're just gonna summon our Buster Dragon with the three pieces and then we're gonna summon our DPE. So now I should say this because I know I'm going to get this question and the question is going to be Spanko, you have no space on the field to use your Buster tag out effect. While that may be true for right now, you guys have to keep in mind now we're ending on a DPE, we're ending on a Buster, we're ending on a Griffin, correct? Keep in mind that Griffin's going to shuffle itself back into the deck so that you can negate a card your opponent controls. So that's going to free up a spot. And it doesn't matter if ABC is taking up a spot because it tributes itself as cost. So after it tributes itself, you'll have three spots. So as soon as you use the Griffin effect, Buster effect to tag out is live. You can also use the DPE effect, which is also going to make Buster live because if you DPE pop itself and then you're going to pretty much have three open spaces and then you can use your Buster Dragon to tag out and summon your pieces back. So no matter what, even though it may not look like we have space right now, you will always have space because the DPE and the Griffin both get themselves off the field anyways. This is an insanely powerful board. You have an ABC Banish. The best part about the ABC Banish is you can pitch the Draco back. The Draco back is going to activate to equip itself to a Brave token. And now on your opponent's turn, you can activate the Draco back effect when it's equipped, which is you can target a card your opponent controls and return it to your hand. That's insanely powerful. So you have another form of disruption that way. And you still have your B in hand, by the way. After all that, you still have your B in hand to do one of two things. You can activate your journey again, which is going to get you to the Griffin again. Or you can just summon the B, equip it with a card, and then keep going from your combos from there. You're pretty much going to be able to OTK because Buster is going to give you access to something like Access Code Talker and whatnot. So I rest my case. This deck is very, very powerful. So that is it for today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy. That's a bunch of combos that I showed off to you. And now there are many, many, many more combos that you guys can do. There's many more iterations to the combos. I hope I explained it really well in the video. Obviously, if we wanted to go through every combo, this video would be like an hour and a half, maybe two hours. There's a lot of combos you could do with this deck. But I hope I explained it just a little bit more than enough just so you guys can take this and win with this deck. I think this deck is very competitive in today's format. I think it's very, very fun to play as well. And really, I mean, what more could you ask for? It's a fun deck that's competitive. That's the best really of both worlds to be real with you. But yeah, thank you guys all for watching. I really hope you guys did enjoy. If you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed to the channel. And with that, Spanko signing out. Peace.